going to handle it, though. Please just leave me alone. Okay, well, you don't act out, okay? Come home and scream at Mommy if you have to. Okay? Don't ever act out in public. It's not worth it. Come home, you act like a total jerk if you want, but not out in public. If you heard his voice, I'm pretty sure you would be annoyed too. I know, I probably would be annoyed too. So, I have these assholes in my classroom. The one girl says this because she doesn't like me, so she thinks she's going to start. They, they keep saying these little comments to push my buttons so that I would say something. The other day, you know, because I'm trying to study and they know it, so the one kid gets up get cut they come in early because I always get to class early so they know that so instead of coming there when class actually about 15 minutes before it starts they come like an hour before it starts to, bo to bother me so the one kid comes in he's an asshole he don't even he's dumb anyway he goes and starts playing a hangman game with the kids in the class uh, the, with the the stalkers the, the gang stalkers in my classroom to bother me, to piss me off so that because I was sitting there trying to study for a test that day. Because I didn't take my test yet. Okay. Because when the teacher came in, then the teacher let me go take the test. But meanwhile, I'm sitting there trying to take my test. And the kid sitting there goes up and starts playing hangman on the freaking board. How annoying can that be? Do you know how bad I wanted to call him all kinds of names and freak out or wanted to smack him upside his head and tell him he's such an asshole? Huh? There's this other girl. She went to, she graduated with Billy. All these kids I go to school with graduated with Billy who, who hurt, helped hurt my son, helped hurt Billy. Do you know how many times I want to smack them because they're retarded? Because because they're making money. Do you know how many times I want to say something smart? Once in a while I'll get my little digs in, but it's just like sarcasm type like, and a, and a sarcasm wise. Like Please stop. So, that, you got it? They just annoy you. The one kid, he sits behind me. Oh, you, they, they just drive me nuts. You, know, you, can't, you can't let them bother you. Come home. Yell at the Can fucking, yell at the wall. <laughs> the one girl, she, she, she don't have a book. She didn't buy a book. So she needs, she needed notes for the, for the homework assignment. And I got my book. I opened it up. And I'm reading my book. I told her, I said, look on Google. <laughs> Instead of saying, here, take a picture of my page of my book that you need. You know what I mean? So she can have it. No. I sat there. I opened my book up. And I'm reading my book. Mm -hmm. And then I kept telling her, I said, Google has it. <laughs> Little things like that. They want to piss you off. But you got to find a way to come back and say something back to them in a nicer way. Because being an asshole in public is, is, is not worth it. Because we're targets and they're trying, to ca they're trying to cause us problems out in public. Trying to cause us history problems in public. But they're not doing it. Because we are smarter than that. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. You gave me yaksa hobby, sis. No, I'm not. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I want to get a basketball net. No. Mm -hmm. I want to put one right there. Basketball net. This, is, this would have been a perfect driveway for a basketball net, except for the highway with the basketball going into the street. That would be the only issue I would have a problem with. So I saved that bottle 
that that kid threw out. So now I have all his fingerprints on it. So he's probably scared shitless in his pants right now because if they all know how I am on the internet. Is that considered Uh It's called littering, littering, littering. That's federal law right there. That's a $500 fine. And here comes your bus. Enjoy your day. Head up. Maybe they'll do something fun today. They always do fun things when you're not there to, to piss you off. That's what they do. Just to, just to annoy the crap out of you. Okay. Here comes the bus. Mommy, see you when you get home. Okay. All right, so it's just a guy. Praise be to God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace be with us. Truth be told. It's not worth acting like an asshole in public. Because I'm a target as it is. And I ain't giving you guys any fucking more ammo than there is. I'll say it and I'll scream at my walls all I goddamn want. It's not illegal to fucking scream at my own wall. Because obviously I talk to the walls no matter where I go all my life. Anyway. So, I'm 45 years old and I have to talk to the wall. Because 45 years of trying to talk to somebody didn't fucking do a goddamn job. Didn't work! Talking to people didn't fucking work! They use it against you! They hurt you! You express your feelings and they use it to shove it up your fucking ass! Well, guess what? I wrapped those feelings up, I bottled them up, and I'm fucking screaming at them now! Now all you pussies, all you counselors, all you bitches who try to help me, or no, all you bitches who stole fucking money from me, can rot in hell. Stole money from my kids, can rot in fucking hell. You judges who want to line your fucking pockets, who want to hurt me and my kids, you go right ahead. But you're going to fall, and I hope you can live with it, you fucking assholes. I want to be in the fucking criminal justice uh, department and you guys have done everything to pull me down and drag me through the mill to try to stop me from doing what I want to do. Labor racketeering can shove it up your ass, you asshole, because you ain't coming out of fucking prison. All you, all you assholes want to do some more labor racketeering in Franklinville? New Jersey, you won't let my son get the job that he wants. He's got a fucking shit job with a bunch of niggers. And you know damn well he deserves a better job than that. He's a lot smarter than the faggot running around trying to be him. Wait a good job. So you do that. You do that. I'm glad that works out for you. I'm glad you guys are happy. I'm glad you're running around giggling and laughing and I'm one big fucking joke. Because the joke's going to eventually be on you. I will keep praising God and thanking Him every day for the strength and the courage to keep moving forward. And the many prayers out to all you who are trying to get this truth out. Now look, I'm trying to clear the spot for my Christmas tree. I'm trying to clear the spot for my Christmas tree. Christmas tree time! It's Christmas tree weekend. Hallelujah. It should have been last weekend, but 
You guys really did a number on me. I don't know what you put in that soup or whatever. Pe 